Okay, so let's do an example where we determine the vapor pressure of a solution after we've added a non-volatile solute. So our problem is the vapor pressure of pure methanol is 160 torr at 30 degrees C. We want to determine the vapor pressure of a solution containing 23.0 grams of glycerol, which is a non-volatile solute, in 155 grams of methanol. And here is the molecular formula for glycerol. Okay, so how do we go about this? So the first thing we need to think about is Raoul's law. So we're going to use Raoul's law to determine this new vapor pressure for the solution after we've added this non-volatile solute. And so here is Raoul's law. So the vapor pressure of the solution is equal to the mole fraction of the solvent multiplied by the vapor pressure of the pure solvent. Okay? So basically, our strategy, we need to look for the mole fraction first and identify the vapor pressure for the pure solvent in our problem and then we'll be ready to calculate the vapor pressure of the solution. So let's go ahead and take a look at our problem. Now we notice the first line tells us that the vapor pressure of pure methanol is 160 torr at 30 degrees C. Now the temperature just gives us the specific vapor pressure that we are looking at. So in other words, that vapor pressure is correct for that temperature. If we lowered the temperature, it, the vapor pressure would be different. But the bottom line is this is the vapor pressure for the pure solvent. So we do have this. So vapor pressure for pure methanol. Okay. So now the biggest part of these problems is actually just finding this mole fraction. Now, caution also, we are looking for the mole fraction of the solvent. If we looked for the mole fraction of the solute, we would get the difference in vapor pressure. So let's remind ourselves what the mole fraction is. So the mole fraction is the moles of whatever we're looking at. So in this case, it's going to be the solvent divided by the total moles in the system. Okay? So the next thing we need to do is take a look at what we have. So we have 23 grams of glycerol and 155 grams of methanol. Now, mole fractions do not involve masses. So we have to convert those masses to moles in order to calculate the mole fraction. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's first calculate the moles of methanol. Okay, and so you have the molecular formula there, and you should know how to calculate the molar mass for methanol. And that molar mass is 32.04 grams per mole. Okay, so let's use that to calculate the moles of methanol. So we have 155 grams of methanol in our system. We have 32.04 grams of methanol in one mole of methanol. And when we div divide 155 by 32.04, we're going to get 4.3, sorry, 4.838 moles of methanol. Okay, so let's do the same thing for moles of glycerol. Okay, so the molar mass for glycerol is 92.094 grams per mole. And as I said, you should make sure that you know how to do that. So you should add up the molar mass and make sure that you come out with the same answer. Let's convert our mass of glycerol to moles of glycerol, so we would take 23.0 grams of glycerol, and we have 92.094 
grams in one mole of glycerol and we are going to end up with 0 0.2497 moles of glycerol when we divide 23 by 92.094 okay so now we have the moles of solvent and the moles of our solute so I'm going to go to the next slide and we'll continue okay so let's rewrite Raoul's law so we know where we're going okay and let's also write down our moles of solvent and solute so methanol we have 4.838 moles and our glycerol we have 0 0.2497 moles okay alright so let's calculate the mole fraction and that and this is the mole fraction of the solvent so we are going to put the moles of solvent on top 4.838 moles of solvent and that's going to be divided by the total moles in other words this is the fraction of the total moles of the system that is solvent so 4.838 plus 0 0.2497 and when we do that division we are going to get a mole fraction of 0 0.951 so we could also think of this as 95.1 percent uh, methanol in this system okay now we have our pure vapor pressure for the solvent and that was 160 torr all right, we have our mole fraction now, so we are ready to calculate the vapor pressure for the solution. And so we're going to plug in our mole fraction, which is unitless. Okay, and we're going to multiply that by our 160 torr and we will end up with 152.16 torr now am I done not quite because we have to look at sig figs right so if we go back to our original problem we had 23.0 grams of glycerol and that is three sig figs we had 160 with a decimal point that's three sig figs and so we need three sig figs in our answer so the final answer the vapor pressure for our solution is 152 torr